Hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome to this uh, quick overview uh, for from these chaps, decals. Uh, decals are great. They're like it saves you free handing <laughs> everything. Um, these are Games Workshop Blood Bowl decals. Um, you can get them from a variety of different companies, so on and so forth, and they're all fantastic. I mean, the detail you're going to get on here. If you can replicate that with a brush, brilliant. If not, I'm going to show you how to uh, apply a decal. Um, so I'm working on my Blood Bowl diorama. And I want to add some decals to the shoulder pad of the uh, the ogre run punter, so to speak. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we have a tiny little reservoir of water. Okay, I've just got it in the lid of my my wet palette, and we're going to pick out the decals we want to put on. I'm going to go for white because obviously I'm, I'm putting on a purple background and a pair of nail scissors. Look, if, you, if you're going to pinch these out of your Mrs. Beauty Box or whatever it is, it's not worth it. Just just buy some. <laughs> They're like a quid. Um, right, let's have a look. So I think what we'll do is we're going to keep it nice and simple. So we're going to have number three. For his player number. There we go, one in there. You can get him pretty close to it, you know. So we've got number three. Wee. And then we're also going to have the symbol on his shoulder pad. So let's have a look. Um, I think we're going to have. Let's put some. That looks pretty cool. I'm just picking at random here, guys, really. It's a diorama. So it's when I do my team, I'll make sure that I've picked everything up. But this, this for the purposes, will show you what I mean with decals. Okay, so I've snipped out the ones I want. Sheet to the side, scissors to the side. I've got two tweezers. If you if your toolbox doesn't have tweezers and a tiny little pair of scissors like that, get yourself out of Poundland and buy them because they are really useful. And all we're going to do is we're now going to sit our decals on top of this water. And I'm just going to pop them down just so that the water actually covers the decal. Distant apart from each other as well. Okay? And over a couple of moments, they will actually now separate off. While that's happening, just think about the surface that we want to apply to. So I think we're going to put it onto that shoulder pad there. And maybe on his back bit there. So, so a spare brush, a couple of brushes is often quite useful here as well um, because you can pin down and eventually given time the decal will come away there we go so it's starting already okay so give a few more moments and we'll uh, we'll be able to apply it okay so I'm quite happy now this decals loose and if I push it with a brush I can slide it off the paper okay so the paper to the side and what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to roll this under the brush. Okay, it takes a bit of practice getting used to. Okay, so I've got him on my brush. Dabbing off any, as much excess as I can. And now I'm going to my miniature. And I am rolling it onto the surface of the model. Okay. I'm now coming in with a dry brush to absorb that moisture. Onto a bit of bit of cloth or whatever it is you want. Okay, and you can use your brush to move that around on the surface, flatten out any imperfections that you're not happy with. Okay, because you're applying it obviously to a flat surface, you're not going to encounter this issue. I've wet my finger because I'm just going to take it away. There we go. Just 
to line it up a bit better. And it's a bit of trial and error, you know. Just takes trial and error. Anything you're working with, just make sure it's wet. There we go, I think we're about getting there. There we go. So I'm quite quite happy with that. It is an ogre at the end of the day. And then we're also going to repeat the process from the number three. So obviously now this is a bit more difficult, isn't it? Because I need to actually have this the correct way. So. You can get lots of products, <coughs> decal fix, things like that. And hey, if, if, if you want to use them, guys, you, you know, go, go straight ahead and use them. Um, I find that decals from a brush work better. Um, it's totally up to you. Decal fix is great because it's all like, almost like melts it down to the surface. This is like the sort of traditional way of doing it I guess where you keep moving it about in a pool of water until you're happy there we go number three and there we go and that's a real sort of quick rundown of decals how to apply them um, it just takes time and just keep using that water just to flatten those surfaces down okay just takes time, just takes patience and a bit of practice. These areas, the more you brush over now, the more it'll fit to that surface. Okay. Quite happy with the number three on his back. And as that water dries off, that'll then be a perfect number. So we could have probably written a number three with a brush, but I doubt I could have probably reproduce that aspect on his shoulder um, so there we go so that's a bit of a, a decal usage real quick and easy I hope you enjoyed it yeah don't be afraid to try them they come in all your kits don't they these things you know you don't put them to one side unless you're a master painter um, have a go see what you think I um, hope you enjoyed the video it's something different one top tip for you after this when these are fully dry I'll go over the top of those with varnish just to totally seal them up um, but they will stay on your your models until you uh, try and literally rub them off with a uh, piece of sandpaper. So keep going over the top. Yeah, both directions. Just flatten those bubbles out. And it really is as simple as that. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Quick and easy decals. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you use decals, how you use them. Any top tips. We're all about sharing the community here. So as always, guys, keep painting. And happy hobbying.